Okay. Okay. Shalom. Shalom. Come here, Sha'Allah. Kuholoyim la Yehovah Bashim Yavashai Bahashim or Kakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well. Everybody, the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say to water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yehovah Bashim Yavashai to the best of their ability. Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I wanted to just touch on this article right here. It's in the business section. Um, it says grocery prices have become absurdly high. I'm literally shaking from shock. The hundred dollar grocery challenge. So I guess this guy, you know, TikTok got a damn challenge for everything. But let's just get to the point. It says that uh, well, I'm not gonna play the video. It says the video display a rather small assortment of items, including a small pack of chicken, a dozen of eggs, rice. Juices, body wash, deodorant, English muffins, stationery, and canned energy drinks. You know, which is some of that shit, you know, you could have just left there. You know, but it's going to come to a point where, you know, I guess, you know, hey. <laughs> people are just going to be going for the bare essentials, man. Okay, it says, um, expressing this disbelief. It says, you're telling me this is what, this is a hundred dollars. This, this, this isn't even barely anything to feed me for a couple of days well yeah you know i guess what the yeah <laughs> yeah and that's pretty much what it's them, them boiled down to and i wanted to chop it up on this lesson because um you know matter of fact i had a, a conversation with an edomite uh as a matter of fact an edomite chick you know she she um you know she works at the plantation with me or whatever and um you know she's she's got five children <laughs> and you know, you know, when you get to talking to so-called white people, they'll get to telling you shit. You know, all you got to do is just kick back, you know, and just let them go. Some of them, are, I mean, generally, mostly all of them, they'll tell you their life story. Some of them will go a little bit over the top with with the stories. But, you know, so she's telling me, you know, about, um, you know, shit. Shit hard as fuck for her. She's basically on the dolo. She's, you know, I think she's like 30, 29, I think she is. And she's on the dolo with these five kids. And she was talking about how she don't eat. I'm like, what the fuck you mean you don't eat? You know? She was like, you know, I barely eat, you know? I was kind of thinking, like, maybe she was talking about it, like, on a tip of, you know, she dieting or some shit like that. But she was basically like, my kids come first. I'm like, okay, and? But coming to find out, you know, as we conversated further, she was like, you know, shit, she don't be eating because, you know, the food goes to the kids, and she's just kind of like, you know, like, just... Like, fuck it, it's, a, it's not enough for me. <laughs> I'm like, damn, straight up. In 2023, the so-called white woman is losing in her world. And and, and I was just yesterday. Um, they was talking about that. And I'm like, damn, you know, like, well, shit, that, that, this reality. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. She like, yeah, shit is tight for me. Because, you know, she like, hey, if she miss a day of work, that throws off the entire budget, man. But you know, she she you know she as she was speaking, I'm like you know you, she was telling me shit. I'm like yeah, you are just making fucked up decisions. <laughs> decisions basically. So your ass need a man. You know that's that's pretty much. But she you know I ain't going no further with it. I'm just looking there and I'm kind of laughing and shit inside. Like you know because this is the fall of Esau's kingdom. And let me grab a quick quick scripture. Uh, let's go into the apocrypha real quick. I'm gonna get this right here. One of my favorites, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 25 verse 7 and it reads um there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy and a tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy and that's what we're, we're witnessing the fall of, of of our enemies man here you go you gotta you think that hell even the so-called black woman not doing that bad I was like well damn what about you know um you know, uh, public assistance and all this other shit. She was like, they would only give, you know, the, the kids, the, you know, the, I think the Medicare or some shit like that. But she was like, I'm like, damn, they won't give you no food stamps, nothing. She like, nope. So she's out here, check to checking it, just doing bad. She's, she, she's barely eating. And I have been hearing about these stories because we've done lessons on these stories before, you know, around the time when inflation kind of jumped. But shit is expensive, man. The fucking gas. You know, she's got a car. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, I mean, you know, women on the dolo, especially with that amount of kids, like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, 
you gotta pay for gas to take the kids wherever they need to go, school. You gotta, you know, drive that shit to work. So the gas is, is, is a killer. That's a bill in itself. And that's just going, you know, you know, to really do shit that you have to do. Ain't no joy riding no more these days, man. You see what I'm saying? Hey, 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 there's none of that going on. You know, I don't go nowhere like that anyway because I'm just, you know, hey, my daily bread is being provided by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And matter of fact, that's a beautiful thing too. You know, uh, hey, look that look forward to your daily bread from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We ain't, we're not looking for no more. We're not looking for no more. You know, Yahweh Bashim, and, and it's gonna get real bad out here. See, this is just the beginning of shit like this because the so-called white race they've never been they've never done as bad as they're doing right now they're doing terrible man matter of fact it's another edomite that, that i work with him as well he and he's an older gentleman you know he should be retired but hey the economy hit his ass he had to go into all his savings you know he had some money put up for his grandchildren and all that shit he had to go into all that shit he's working with me <laughs> you know what i'm saying He's working with me. It's a, it's okay job. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it gets things done for me because I'm on a dolo. But I can't imagine, you know what I'm saying, the type of bills that they have. Because, you know, Esau, you know, they, they got to have two damn jet skis. They got to have the RV. They got to have the, you know, the, 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 you know, the damn super truck that you need a damn ladder to get into. You know, they got to have a van, a carpool. And, you know, if they don't have all those things, they feel like they're doing bad. So they, they have all these things. And paying all this fucking insurance and when they should be scaling back because you can't afford it no more. Back in the days, they used to be, hey, there was a golden era in America where the so-called white man, he had all that shit. Summer house, winter house, going overseas, traveling, going to the ski resorts. You know what I'm saying? Going to, you know, um, you know, hell, even a Hawaii that's burning down right now. They're not able to do none of that shit now. And they feeling like if they're not able to do those types of things, they're really, you know, life is just not life for them. Because they was blessed with the fatness of the earth. You know, according to um the blessing that Isaac gave um to Esau, and that's their biblical name, Esau. They're not that's why we say so-called white. Because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. They're not white. No one nobody looks like a damn glass of milk. But that's a um, social construct that they came up with as if they're so pure and they're so innocent. You know, white kind of gives off this brightness, this light. You know, look at us. You know, uh, you know we're intellectual. We're scientists. You know, all this. But in the meanwhile, <laughs> hey, it, it, it's a bunch of damn pseudoscience, man. So things are not going well for the average Edomite these days. Let me get that again, though. It says, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. But you, you can't enjoy children here, of course. You, 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 you can forget about that shit. Shit, the average person, that's why I'm, I'm thinking like, damn, you 29 with five kids? But, you know, she, she's kind of along the line of that, um, that trailer park hookup. You know what I'm saying? You know, she's telling me all kinds of weirdo shit. I'm like, oh, man, all right. <laughs> anyway, but, um... We're seeing the fall of Esau Edom's kingdom, man. And that's globally. It's not just the Americas, but Babylon the Great mainly is falling. The Lord is, is beginning to um, visit th this place, man. He's beginning to visit this place. That's why you see shit like um, Hawaii, a whole damn island is burnt to, to, to ashes. You know, that's a, that's a symbol to you so-called white people in America, man. Because the Lord is about to be, about to do away with um, Babylon the Great, man. But let me go to, um, since we in here, let's get second address, chapter 15. Let me start at verse 14, maybe. Let's see here. Yeah, let me start at verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. One people shall stand up, with, shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. I just done a lesson, um, you know, this um, GOP. I'm trying to think what the hell he do here. He, he's in Michigan here. But he's talking about, hey, it's going to be a civil war. <laughs> and he's right. That's prophetic. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're not going to regard a damn police officer, a mayor, a governor, a senator, or any of that shit. People just going to be out here all out, wilding out, man. 
It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Why? <laughs> but shall destroy their houses <laughs> with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, it's going to be a lack of bread in this place, man. And this is just right now. This, this is, you know, you, this is why you have stuff out here. It's still, you can go shop. But it's going to come a point where there's not going to be shit at all. So not only is she not going to be eating, her children are not going to be eating. And she might decide to say, hey, well, which one I'm going to cook first? Because <laughs> cannibalism, all that stuff, man. Hey, look, it's about to be some real terrible, dreadful times out here. That, um, let's get this Hebrew. Yeah, the Lord about to get down, man. And that's why, man, we praying to Yahweh Bashem El Shai for protection, safety, and, and our daily bread from our Father because we understand that it's Him. He's the one, He's our healer. He's our, you know, He's everything to us, man. But you got people running around out here, they just, they prideful as hell. They think that it's them, them, them. Look at me, look at me. I'm doing this. And, and what they're going to find out is, is, <laughs> no, you're not. You're not in control of any damn thing that's going on in your life, man. Because the scriptures talks about man's goings of the Lord. Hebrews 10 and 31 says it, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And, 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 and that's a, a lot of people about to, about, to, about to see the terror of, of the man of war. Because the scriptures talks about the Lord is a man of war. And when, there, when, 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 when war goes down. The women and children, they basically become spoils, so to speak. But there's going to be a lot. And even amongst, you know, so I'm just, you know, I was kind of mentioning the Edomite because I was really kind of surprised. I'm like, damn, this your kingdom. You, you, you really double losing. This your kingdom and, and, and you're out here starving, trying to take care of five kids by yourself. But matter of fact, she, she even got to help. She got two baby daddies. I'm almost thinking like, damn, are you an Israelite? <laughs> but you know some of the shit she was saying the spirit of her is you know it's just kind of like she's a damn Edomite but you know hey the so called white man has always been shitty towards their women man they try and make it seem like it's just Jake but the so called white man they you know they you, you got them one I mean it's it, it, you know you got them ones that you know they love their woman and they'll do whatever for them and all this other shit but the so called white man he's notorious he, when he was enslaving Negroes, he was treating his woman like dirt, man. And, and it's still that way to this day. So she got baby daddies that's not even, you know, looking out for her like that, which is crazy as hell. I mean, well, but I mean, it's not crazy in a sense because we understand that these are the prophecies, man, that's playing out, you know, throughout the Americas, throughout um, Europe, throughout. Hey, look, the so I'm telling you, man, check out some of the news, man. This so-called white man is not doing well. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not doing well Jake out here is, is boiling out of control Over Esau man Jake out here They, they don't know what the hell going on they don't, you know, they don't have no sense of what's really happening But Jake out here driving good They living in decent homes You know they dressing in all this you know, Material shit you know, Designer this designer that they eating good or, you know, at least, you know, they still eat abominable shit. But Jake is out here still doing a thing, man. Even with these, these, Jake don't give a fuck about these prices. Jake not, you know, <laughs> like for real. Don't get me wrong, though. It's, it's some Jake that's struggling, too, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it like that. Don't, don't, don't think that Jake, Jake under them curses, man. So Jake, but it's about to come to a point where this man with, with shit like this, with food, something as simple as food, when you're hungry as hell. This man can, you will do anything, man, when it comes down to you starving, man. That shit will change your whole mindset. So it's not going to be anything for this man to say, hey, well, come on down here. We're going to need you to take this, this, this chippity chip chip, this, this um, chocolate chip. We're going to need to put that chocolate chip in you, implant your ass, you know, so we can keep tabs on, on your every move along with your children. You know, we, we're going to, you know, perpetually enslave your ass. They ain't going to tell you, but that's really what's coming. Because they're in control of the food and they're in control of the water. All they have to do is say, well, hey, look, you're going to eat. And as long as you come and do this, you're going to need this, though, so you can come through and swipe your hand 
Well, you, they beep your goddamn forehead. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and you can eat. And people are gonna be falling for that, man. That's that's the reason why. Let me get this um Isaiah real quick. What is that? 33. Yeah, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, "And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure." So this wisdom and his knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. We're gonna we're gonna have the the wisdom and knowledge and, and to know, you know. I'm going to the Lord for what I need, and the Lord said He's gonna provide us with what we need. Matter of fact, um, let me go to the blue letter real quick, find this one. See this wisdom and this knowledge. See you, when, once you come into this truth, you start to understand that. Hey, look, I'm not in control of anything. Man's goings of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he's the one that heals, he makes, you know, he wounds, he's the one that kills, he makes alive, he's in control of all things, everywhere that I've ever been, everywhere that I've, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going, it's all, you know, I'm orchestrated by him. That's, that's having that wisdom and that knowledge to know that. With the average person, they don't understand that shit. They don't have no, and, and you, you know, um, what is that, uh, the scripture talks about, um, it is impossible to please God without faith. Because you have faith in because you know he's there. That's this, you know, that's a that's a great part of the, um, you know, that wisdom and knowledge being in this, the stability of our times. We we know that he's there. We actually believe that he's going to do what he said he's going to do for us. By the spirit, we believe that, you know, you have to have faith, man. You can't be double minded when it comes to this truth, man. You see. Let me see. Uh. talks about my servant shall eat but you you have to have faith in this truth man uh it's not what i mean to see maybe your servants with an s on it makes a difference yep here it is right here so like y'all keep always forget about that that's isaiah 65 um let me start let me see Now let me just get to the point. Verse 13, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, behold, my servants shall eat. And who's the servants? The servants are the ones that are listening and obeying the scriptures, man. That, that's obeying the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's, the, that's his, his servants shall eat. <laughs> you know, it's almost like, you know, um, you're a king. Which the Lord is the King of Kings, you know what I'm saying? And you got a palace, and, and you got hungry ass servants in, in your palace, like they're not eating. That that don't that wouldn't make no sense at all. It's like hell, even a Burger King or a McDonald's or something like that that you work at. Hell, they'll give you a free meal. <laughs> you know, like your lunch is free. You know, some of these restaurants even they'll give you a free meal. You don't have to pay for your lunch. You get what I'm saying? But it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And that's coming, man. This is why it's so important to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. You know, I'm Yahweh, meaning he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. Which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. The letter J was invented in 1524. So the, the Lord's name is not Jesus, man. And that goes off into all manner. That Jesus, that white Jesus thing, man, that goes off into all manner of idolatry, man. Because the Lord is a dark, melanated man. But he's saying that his servants are going to eat, they're going to drink, you know, they're going to, um, you know, basically have peace, man, when, when shit hits the fans. Because. It's going to be a lot of people out here, man. People are going to be bugging the fuck out. And you're going to have to pretty much kind of get away from a lot of your family, man, that don't believe. Because they'll drag your ass down. Because they're going down with the ship, man. They're going down with the ship. And they're and they, and, and they going to want you, you know, to, to jump out there and save the asses. And, and, and they can't swim. It's like you can swim and they can't. You see what I'm saying? And they, they you know, they're having, you know. 
a damn panic attack and they get the they'll get to the dragging your ass underwater man you see what i'm saying so you know hey we have to you know wake up man hey it's time to almost time to get the hell out of here so almost time to get the hell out of here man and and, and then we'll, 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 we'll. but when these famines come and the lord spoke of that too in um matthew 24 that was a part of what he said will be happening in the end days when the disciples ask him what will be going down what's going to be going down what's going to be happening you know uh, you know just before you're coming lord that's what they was asking him one of those things was famine food not having enough to eat and people going to be out here ravishing each other each other all that friendly shit hey how you doing you know that neighborly you ain't gonna even want to see your neighbor in that day because especially if that neighbor got unruly children already here you go to a nigga sitting up in the house playing 2k all day you know he's 23 24 that's all he does is play 2k and and, and smoke black and miles and weed and shit they gonna be like i know for a fact they got food in there they always coming into their house with food you know, people see you coming, you know, getting out of your car, opening up your trunk, see you pulling shit out of your back seats and shit, and you just got this whole, you know, and people been hoarding as of lately, too. You got these preppers out here. These damn preppers, they ain't doing them but prepping for um the Israelites, really. Because the Lord, hey, if you ever watched that movie, The Road, that's a good movie to watch. Because they was out here eating people. They, they was keeping people all locked up and just... You know, who's going to be cooked today, so to speak. But there's a scene in there where his father and son came across this bunker that was full of shit. Full of shit. They could have stayed there for quite some time. They ended up, you know, kind of, you know, leaving or whatever because of, you know, situation because it was that damn dangerous. But shit, hey, that was it, man. Ock had, yeah, the dude had cleaned up. He shaved and shit. He was sitting out there. He had cigars. He had whiskey. You know, whatever kind of, you know, Jim Bean, whatever the hell. But it was a lot of stuff in that bunker. But the people that actually put all that stuff in that bunker, they weren't able to um to eat it or enjoy it. Obviously, they got caught up. So there's coming some times, man, where it's about to get real seriously bad out here, man. And it's going to be real seriously bad on, on Jake in general, just men. But it's going to be real bad for women that's on the dolo, man. It's going to, I'm serious. That shit about to get real tough. On the very women that have been out here at ease. You know, you go into Isaiah 32, I think, verse 9, where it talks about um, you women that are at ease. Y'all better wake y'all asses up and repent. Preferably get you a man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's out here. That's in his truth. Because when things get rough, you want to be under the covering of a man. It's about to get crazy out this bitch, man. I was, I was just out last night. I done a little live. You know, I was just out. Went to the store. And um, big ass motorcycle club party and shit, man. I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of niggas. Whole block flooded. Block to block to block to block. Cars parked. With Jake just out here just doing nigga shit. And the nigga woman out there with them ass cheeks out everywhere. All that stuff's about to come to a, 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 an erupt end, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep. Matter of fact, let me, I'll end out with that. But man, hey, it's time to get wake the fuck up, man. And Jake. I mean, it's, it, this truth is really only for the elect of Israel anyway. So, you know, that's what, who, that's who we're, we're, we're trying to reach or we're going to reach, you know, by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai because there's no way that the elect are not going to wake up because that's who this is for. But the rest of them, we just don't know who they are. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows who the elect are. We're, that's why we pray that we're the hopefully elect. We're praying that we're part of this. Romans 13 and 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. We gotta wake the fuck up, man. Repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Gotta wake up, man. It says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. And like I said, them people that was out there last night, man, they was out there till, till the, the break of dawn. Doing all manner of wickedness. All manner of wickedness. All kinds of adultery going on. Motherfuckers out there on all kinds of drugs. Jake just out there just looking crazy. It's all hell. Because I was like at first, you know what? I'm not giving a fuck that. I'm about to turn around. Once I seen, you know, the crowd. You know, the spirit was just like, nah, go on down there. Go in this store. Get what you're going to get. 
And, you know, I kind of, you know, sat there and I kicked it with a couple of people for a hot sec. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't stick around long. <laughs> I was trying to get the fuck on. I don't want to be around Jake like that, man. I don't want to be around Jake like that. Jake get crazy as hell, man. Once they, you know, nighttime hit, Jake on drugs. Jake got all the drinks in their system. Jake is just wicked in general. Hell, they ain't even got to be on drugs or no drinks to do nothing. Jake wicked as hell, man. A hard-headed, stiff-necked ass people. So I didn't want to hang out too long. But it says, verse 12, it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us there forecast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So the way that you put off the works of darkness, first off, you have to repent. You have to know that there's a father that's out there that's going to punish people. And, and preferably you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's going to punish a lot of our people, man. So we come out and we let our people know why we're in the situation that we're in. You know, um, according to the contract or the covenant that we made with Yahweh. The curses, we bring out the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. To show our people like, look, this is what we're going through. This is the, this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. You know, of course, you know, um, kind of a closer is, you know, verse 68. Talking about us going in, um, into slavery on ships and being sold to our enemies. You know, those two things normally, you know, but you have Jake that'll argue, you know, that, hey, that it's just not for him, though. You know, the Lord is not dealing with everybody, you know. I mean, it just is what it is, but we still have to do that work. But you have to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And then from there, you start working on pushing off the shit that you was into, man. By the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. You out here, you in a damn adulterer. Or an adulteress, you got to get rid of that shit. You out here smoking, you got to get rid of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't drink in moderation. You know what I'm saying? But we talking about, you know, you hating on your brother. A bunch of damn conniving, covetous, you know, um, you know, just all that shit. You, you have to rid yourself of that stuff, man. And, 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 and basically separate or be holy. That's what holy holiness goes off into. A separation, man, because you're supposed to act. Just like how Yahweh or Yahweh Shai acts. We're supposed to be like, um, you, know, rep, you know, replicas of, the, of them. The Lord said to separate yourself because, you, because he's holy. You are holy. So all this shit that America is into, you out here celebrating all these wicked ass holidays. They done murdered, raped, robbed, and pillaged every damn body. And you out here barbecuing to them. You got to get rid of all that shit. That's why that Micah 2 and 10 says, um, you know, to come out of her. Come out of this place. Come out of the mindset of being a damn American. Because if you come out of the mindset of being American, you know, I know I started the lesson off, you know, going off into people, you know, with the food and stuff like that. If you come out of the mindset of America, shit, you won't even really need that much like that. You know, your daily bread. The Lord is going to provide you with your daily bread. You know, you, you'll have a mindset that shit. I don't need a steak every day. I don't even need to eat meat every day. <laughs> you know. These beans, rice, this corn, whatever, is sufficient enough for me and the children. You learn how to make recipes, you know what I'm saying, that are, you know, that, that, that are good for the family. And, 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 you know, nothing's missing, man. The Lord going to show you where to go to and, and shop. He's going to show you, the, you know, the, um, you know, produce that's in season, good produce. Or, you know, because I know we're, 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 you know, eating our bread to file among the enemy. Because the scripture talks about that. But the Lord will give you the best possible things to get into, man. Turkey might be cheaper this week. Chicken might be cheaper this week. The beef might be cheaper over here this week. A, cer a certain type of, um, you know, the Lord. That's why um, we pray Proverbs, um, what's that, 3 and 6, 3 and 5? 3 and 5, 3 and 6. Proverbs 3. Let me get that real quick. It says, trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. So you can say, well, Yahweh, you know, I need to, you know, get some groceries. You know, um, where should I go? And what should I get? And once you get there, the spirit will hit you like, oh, yep, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. And then once you get to the register, you're like, oh, shit, I got all that. for, for I've done it plenty of times. I got all that for just that amount of money. It'll surprise you. I've, I've literally done that. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, you pray to Yahweh, like, what, you know, what should I get, Yahweh? Where should I go to get it? You know? 
So we have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He's the one that's in control. He knows all things. And why not deal with the one? You know, J Jacob put in, you know, um, ask Siri some shit. And they believe Siri on their damn iPhones over the Lord, man. Not to say that you can't use Siri. It's a tool. <laughs> what I'm saying, you know, the Lord knows all things, man. Jacob uh, used a GPS, you know, a trust damn GPS on their phone or on their car, you know, over the Lord. Like I said, again, nothing wrong with using the tools, but you have to go to the one that created the tools, man. You don't, you, you know, you don't serve the, uh, the, 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 the created, you serve the one that created them, <laughs> created the stuff, man. You get what I'm saying? Well, anyway, I'm going to end out there. I didn't want to keep the lesson long, but hey, there's coming a serious time where people going to be out here bucking, bucking about this food, man. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam your shoulder.